time. So, um, you know, I, there are a lot of things that are coming back in memory from years ago. I'm not, I'm not sure why. Um, but I guess one of the things, maybe it's because of like thinking a lot about, you know, COVID and, you know, maybe science related to that. It, it, it just, it, all these memories come back. One of them is about um, when we studied mutations um, in high school. So we were, I think it was um, biology class. And um, I mean, maybe this is that, I shouldn't bring this up, but I, I thought it was um, humorous that I, um, that I said that there's a large um, mutation going inside me. But you know, actually, another, another thing I was thinking back about is that um, I, I've been privileged to be able to live in different places, especially we're involved in our running. And I, I lived in Mammoth Lakes, California, training for the New York City Marathon. And I, I helped uh, direct a race, so one of the support crew for this race where they had like famous runners there and all this. And um, some of the runners that were doing this ultra race were actually in the book Born to Run, which at the time was huge. It's still, I think, a pretty popular book. Um, so imagine, like, like here you're you're volunteering for race, and you literally have like these kind of running celebrities. And so I'm running with these these two women who are in this book Born to Run, like well known, and. I mean, this is like therapy, by the way, being up here, because it's ridiculous. Like, here I was helping them out, you know, running alongside them, and they, they actually, they did something that made me never want to read the book again, or even have the book, because they actually wanted, they, they asked me to go into the woods and, um, and perform um, uh, favors for them. So it it is, anyway, again, this is like therapy, and I'm trying to get this off my chest. That is actually a true story. Um, all these are actually uh, sadly um, true. Um, but you know, maybe I'll throw out something that is possibly debatable. So I was walking down um, Sterling Highway in, um, in Monson Park, and I, this is sort of a weird time to be on there because I was actually walking to a friend's house to watch the um, the, uh, the finals of the, um, the Olympic marathon. So Perth time, this is gonna be at, um, at six, it's gonna start at 6 a.m. So it's like 5 a.m. sharp on a Sunday, and I'm just, walking, and I, I like to sort of walk at night or whatever, and out of nowhere, this like girl comes out from like behind the gas station, like, well, what is this? And she, and it's like, she's like, puts out her hand, like, my name is, you know, Steph, nice to meet you. And I mean, it's five in the morning, it's like pitch dark. And so I just took off. I was like, I'm out of here. Um, I don't know what this girl wants, or like, this is like scaring me. And I, I told that to some friends, and they were like, oh, you know, why were you scared? Or, you know, maybe you should talk to her. No, this is like, any girl that, you know, comes out from behind a gas station, like at five in the morning, that's pitch dark. To me, that was um, red flags. So anyway, you can um, you can write about that in my chat or, or send me a, a hate message or something if you disagree with that. But I was out of it. I was like red flag, um, like crazy, um, because that was uh, ridiculous. Um, but anyway, we'll take another break and uh, we'll see you soon.